Tina and today we're going to make some vegan taco meat using a couple of different ingredients you might not think of to make taco meat. We're going to be using some cauliflower and some walnuts as the main ingredients and then of course some seasonings made with onions and peppers and things like that. So let's get started. First I'm going to take the cauliflower and what I did this morning the whole cauliflower, you can see it's got some spice on top of it. I put it all in my Instapot with just a little bit of water. I set it on the tray inside my Instapot and I put it on the steam function and let it steam under full pressure for three minutes. And then I just quick released and let all that steam out and took the lid off as soon as it was done releasing and let it sit there and cool off. Once it was cool, I sliced it into steaks like this. When I put it in there, I actually sprinkled it with water and put some of this Fiesta Fire Blend on it. It's made from Well Your World, and it's an excellent Mexican spice. So I had that on top of the cauliflower. So we're going to chop that up in a minute. But first, before we chop that, we're going to add some aromatic vegetables. We have a red onion. I'm just going to use a quarter of this, or half of this. This would be a quarter of a medium-sized red onion. Get the peel off there. So first we're going to drop in that red onion into the pan. And I'm going to turn my skillet on to medium heat. And let that start cooking. If it starts to stick, we can just add a little bit of water or broth to keep it from sticking. I have a little bit of a yellow bell pepper left and I'm going to add that as well. Just chop it into a nice dice. You can use any color of bell pepper that you like in any amount. This is going to probably end up being about a third of a cup of chopped bell pepper. And we like our food spicy, so I'm also going to add a jalapeno. Now, I didn't intend to have a jalapeno this big, but our grocery shoppers picked that one out first, so I'm going to cut it in half, and we're just going to use half of it. I'm going to split it down the middle, save half for another use, and to keep it from being too spicy, I'm going to take the seeds and the white veiny part out. I just use the serrated knife, and I kind of get underneath that white part, and it should come right out like that. I'm going to drop it down here where I've got a trash can, I'm not just putting it on my floor. And we've got most of those seeds out. Just give it a good tap. And then I'm going to slice that into strips and mince it and add that to the onions and the bell pepper. And we'll just get those cooking until they're soft and get some spices added to this. And I'm going to give my hands just a quick little rinse just in case I were to have any of the hot oils from the jalapeno peppers. So I'm going to give those a quick stir. Let those cook down a little bit. And then we're going to add some spices. The spices I have today, of course we have the Fiesta Fire Blend on top of the cauliflower, so we won't need to add any extra of that because that was on the whole head of cauliflower. Probably a half a tablespoon was sprinkled over the top of it. We have some garlic powder, onion powder. I put that in almost everything that I cook. It's just our favorite. And brown cumin. And then to season all up, we'll probably add some Cholula. It's just a hot sauce. We're going to also add some medium salsa. You can use mild if you don't like things extra spicy. And then we're also going to add some black cumin seeds. It's ground. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of water for my calorie. And I've got all the spices measured out into this little container. We're just going to add those in and give them a quick stir. While that cooks down, we just want to wait till the onions and the peppers are getting a little soft. In the meantime, while that's still cooking, I'm going to take my steamed cauliflower. I sliced it into steaks cauliflower steaks. We're just going to take those two here and we're just going to chop it into bite size. Cauliflower 
wildflower is an amazing vegetable as it takes on the flavor of whatever spices you have on it. You can see it's been thoroughly spiced on top when it was in my Instapot with that Fiesta Fire blend. So it's going to have a good, nice flavor to it. We're going to give that a quick stir. Get it blended in and make sure it's not sticking on the bottom. Adding the cauliflower will help with some of the moisture to keep it from sticking to your nonstick pan. Again, if it is sticking, all you need to do is just add a little bit of water or broth to help it not stick. And next we're going to add some walnuts. I have these walnuts in my small ninja here. They're half pieces and we're just going to give them a quick blitz. Not till they're too fine, but we want them to be chopped up a little bit more. So here we go. And again, I chose the medium. We like it spicy but not blazing hot, and we like it better than the mild. But you just go with your family's flavors. If you don't like things too spicy, you just buy some mild salsa, whatever brand you like. And if you like it extra spicy, you can do that too by the hot. You could also use Rotel if you like Rotel. And they come in mild, medium, and hot flavors. So we're going to just go with this medium salsa. I'm going to measure out a cup of it. stir. Starting to smell really good. Too bad cameras don't have a built-in smell, just like a microphone. It could be a smell phone. And you could smell what I smell here. It just smells delicious. Okay, we're going to pour that in. And then I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of this Cholula hot sauce. And you may have your own favorite kind of hot sauce that you like better, whatever you may be able to find locally. I'm going to pour that in. And we're going to give it a stir and make sure we have enough salsa. And this will make a great taco meat just to go into crunchy tacos. You could put it stuffed inside uh, corn tortillas, flour tortillas with some refried beans. You can put it on tostadas. If you wanted to put it inside of enchiladas, you could do that with some cheese sauce that you've made or even some cheese shreds that are made non-dairy from the store. That could go in there too. And it's just going to need to cook down a little bit. We want to make sure that we don't have a lot of extra liquid. And then once we've got a finished product, I'll show you what, what it looks like. Alright, so that's how we're making our cauliflower taco, cauliflower walnut taco meat. And it should be very delicious when we eat it with a variety of Mexican dishes this week. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.